While I love editing my landscape photos in Lightroom, there are times I need to do more, and that's where Photoshop CC comes in. I've got Photoshop CC open with this amazing scene captured in New Zealand by pro photographer Chris Burkhart. There are a few things I'd love to do to make this amazing photo even better. The first thing I'd love to do is just simply straighten the photo a bit. It's a little tilted to the right, and we're gonna go ahead and fix that by switching to the crop tool. But you'll also notice that I've got content aware enabled. What that means is that when I go ahead and tilt this image and it normally gives us those dreaded white spaces, I don't have to run from them. I don't have to pull them in. I can actually go the other way. Because once I click commit, it will actually build the missing spaces using content aware fill. Now that I've got that in place, the next thing I'll do is remove any distracting elements. His campsite's here and we no longer need it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a quick selection of it with the lasso tool. As you can see, I don't have to be very exact because once I hit shift delete on my keyboard and bring up content aware fill, I can just simply click okay and it will remove that scene as if it wasn't there. Now, the next thing I'd love to do is replace the sky. The sky is pretty good, but Chris actually captured a better sky in this scene. So what I'd love to do is first of all, switch to my quick select tool. And with quick select, just with one simple drag, I can go ahead and select the existing sky. Now we'll head over to the better sky and we'll just simply copy it. Once we head back to the original image, we can simply do a paste, but not a regular paste. We're gonna do a paste special paste in two because that'll do a couple of things. It'll generate its own layer and layer mask. And when I zoom out a bit, I can use free transform to scale the sky up and get it just in place the way I want. Once I get it where I want, I can go ahead and click commit, zoom back in, and I can take a look at my finished photo. Here's my before and here's my after here in Photoshop CC.